This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course, and I'm on Unit 3, which is Animation and Games, and Lesson 6, Sprites, Part 17. Let's see what they have us working on. Create your scene sprites. With your background in place, it's time to add your sprites. Yep, so here's my code for a background. Hit run. If you don't have a background, hey, why did you skip part 16? Go to 16, create your own background. I'm making this kind of alien, weird Martian world thing, all right? But make your own, go to 16, um, and do that. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, do this. Add or create all of your sprite images in the animation tab. Create a variable for each sprite at the top of your program and use set animation to assign the images to your create animation tab whoa that's a lot all right create all the of your images in the animation tab i'm going to do that first so that's going to be my focus okay so i'm going to go ahead and hit animations now i'm going to draw one and then i'm going to upload a picture of one so new animation oh or you could borrow some of theirs do they have stuff in here oh that's kind of cool um, but I don't. Let's not be... We're going to be creative. All right. I'm going to draw one. So this might be dangerous, but we'll see how it turns out. So that will be my first animation. I'm going to magically bring up Google real quick because I want to add the image through a picture. So I'm going to switch over. Whoop. I've already looked for this image. It's exactly what I want. I want to show you, though, the settings. You need a smaller image. So first of all, uh, make sure mine's black and white. You want a transparent background. I set a transparent background. You can set it as a search. Also, what I would do size and select icon. It makes it easier because if your picture is over 100 kilobytes, which is really small, it's going to be a problem. OK, so once you find one, you want to right click. Save image as. And I already, oop, I saved this earlier from a different project, but I'm just going to resave it to show you. If you're on a Chromebook, to right click on a Chromebook, what you would want to do is um, spread, your two, spread out two fingers, click down at the same time, and it should pop up so you can save image as. Okay, this is all I need it for. I'm going to magically go back to code.org. But uh, now I'm going to hit new animation, upload. I'm going to select my more recent one. And I'm going to just rename this from world to, well, I can name it world. I'll just name it world. Great. Um, and that is looking good. I'll resize it when uh, through code, I think. Code. Let's see. Add or create all of your sprites images. Yep. Create a variable for each sprite at the top of the program and use set animation to sign the image you create it to the animation tab. Okay, so create a variable. Where would variables be? It's under VAR. Variable, I'm gonna put it at the top. You always do wanna create variables at the top. Okay, my first one is gonna be Rob the robot. Okay, and what goes here? Hmm, I'm wondering, is it? Oh, we actually, I'm doing it the hard way. We can grab this. Gosh, they're nice. And use their var sprites. Now I can name them Rob. And then create a sprite. I get to pick. It starts at the center of the sprite. So I'm going to have my Rob be at 111, 235. 111, 235. And then I need to set animation. And that's important because otherwise, well, it doesn't work so sprite set animation um and don't leave this as sprite i need mine raw but whatever your variable is that's what you do and bot perfect all right now i need to do this again variable drag it over here um ooh, should i name the earth or should i just say or the world hmm. i'm gonna uh his new name is fred great and i'm gonna put him over here we will need to resize them, but I'll do that later. 101 and 54. 101 and 54 is where I want. And set animation for Fred. 
Gotta change that to Fred. And gotta change that to the world. Alright, let's see. What? Oh, what did I not do? Oh, right. Draw sprites. Okay. So let's go grab variables. Nope. It's gonna be in drawing, of course. Um, or maybe not. Draw sprites. World? I found it. Probably told us that somewhere. Okay. And I'm gonna put this at the very bottom. That way I know it runs everything. Uh, oh wait, I don't want it behind the background. Oh no, I do, yep, I want it on top of the land, yep. And this way it will be on top. It's going to be the last thing drawn, so it will be on top of all the other stuff. I'm going to hit reset and run. Now, as I said, the earth is going to be huge. I need to fix that, I knew that. I do love, though, that it's transparent. I hunted for something like that. Uh, let's do, uh, I think you. it asks you to do this. Let's see examples. Oh, right. That's how you use scale. So, I'm going to go ahead and do scale uh, right here for Fred. And he is looking way too big. So, let's try point zero point 0.1, which is like 10%, I think. Oh, I like that more already. Oh, I should put the Rob on some land. You know what? I also want Rob to be bigger, so I'm going to put this here. And for S Rob, scale, let's try 1.2. So that would be like 120%. That's better. I'm going to move them down a bit. Uh, X, so this is 90, 80, 90. Okay, I, it starts from the center. I want his center here, so let's do 88. Reset, run. Whoops, what did I do? Oh, that's me being wrong. Uh, I was moving over, X and Y. All right, so Y I want to be 270. That's a bit better. Great. It's going to take some fooling around with it, right? Um, I hope you find stuff you're interested in, especially if your teacher's like me or if I'm your teacher. I want to look at interesting work. I want to look at fun projects. So, ooh, I'm definitely going to do a fill color on this guy. Uh, I won't make you watch through that, though. All right, so have fun with this. Make it interesting. Um, and then let's go on to 18.